All right, my friends, welcome back. Today it's early December here in Michigan, which means it's a perfect time to review a portable zone heater. So this is made by the Heatworks company. It also includes this little remote right here. And I'm gonna read a little bit off the box just so you can get an idea what this is all about. And then I'll take the heater out and we'll get a closer look. All right, so it has efficient PTC heating element with a lifetime warranty, dependable heat season after season, no expensive bulbs to replace ever. I've heard of like quartz bulbs that get expensive. This uh, doesn't require that. Less noise and increased output. Simple controls with large display. You can easily see that number 72. Dual mode operation, so you can run it on high or low. Low is 1000 watts, high is 1500. Compact remote included. Digital temperature sensor with memory. So you can shut it off, you can unplug it. And when you turn it back on, if you wanna just leave it like at 70 for instance, it will remember that. You don't, So you don't have to go down from like 85 down to 70. Very nice. Washable air filter, lightweight and portable. So it's on these little caster wheels. Two year quality assurance warranty. So I would say it's time to open it up and see what it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, so here's the heater. Before I turn it on and go through some of the features, I'm gonna get, get a quick measurement. It's about 16 and three quarter tall, 13 wide, and the depth is about 15 and a half. All right, and it's on these caster wheels, so you can see how it rolls real easy. Here's the back. All right, can you see that? Here's the uh, screen that you can change. All right, there's the filter. I ran this now, I've had it actually for a couple weeks to thoroughly test it out. And in order to give you a thorough review, I haven't taken this filter out yet. All right, um, so that's pretty easy. Here's the power. You turn that on. And now it shows it's set for 66. So it's probably not running because it's probably, uh, yeah. All right, so I'll turn up to like 68. And that is on the high mode. Right here you can see high. If I hit the other button, it's low. So now it's running at about a thousand watts. Let's go back to high a minute. So there's a little light right here that says heating up. So if I shut it down, watch this. It's still running for a minute. That light comes on saying cooling down. Now it'll probably run for about a good 30 seconds. Just so the fan runs and then nothing's hot when you go to touch it or move it. But actually this really never gets too hot when I've ran it on high. There isn't anything that you have to be too concerned with that you're going to touch it and get a burn. Okay, I want to show you how the timer works. So if I turn the power back on, 68 degrees. Now let's say I want to run this for maybe one or two hours. So if I know I'm going to be leaving the house two hours from now. I can hit the timer button. Each time you push it, it goes a different to the next number. So I push it twice, so two hours from now, this will shut off. If I want to have it shut off in three hours, I hit the timer button again. Three hours. Now, if I want to clear that out, just hit the power off. We have to let it cool, and I'll show you how the timer works so it'll come on in three hours so let's wait for this to cool down and I'll come back to that feature. Okay now I'd like to show you how the timer works for this to come on. So right now the power's off. The last time that I had this on it was at 68 degrees so in the morning it, let's, let's just say that it's nighttime right now and I'm going to bed and I want to get maybe like seven hours of sleep then uh, to have this turn on in the morning like a little before I wake up so what you do is you hit the timer button. There's just keep pushing it. So seven hours from now, this will come on at 68 degrees and it'll come on the last with the memory, either low or high. So that's 
how simple and easy it is for the timer to work. All right, so I'd like to just give you my overall thoughts of the heater. I really like it. I've had it for a few weeks now, like I mentioned. And the mornings, I get my two younger boys off to school on the bus. So it's really never easy to get them out of bed and on the couch. And in the winter time, you know, it's kind of cold out there. So it's nice. I'll turn this on maybe 10 minutes before waking them up. And then when they come out to watch TV and just kind of wake up a little bit, they're still under some blankets. They enjoy having this heater nearby just to help transition into uh, going off to school. So I'm real happy with it. I give it a definite thumbs up. I, the only little thing that I would say that is a little bit difficult to read is the low and the high. It's not very bright. So um, the Heatworks company, that's my only suggestion. I think everything else works great. It'd just be nice to be able to see that a little bit brighter, either low or high. But you can tell here's a low setting. It's a little quieter. Let's go to high and see if this runs a little bit louder. So there's definitely the audible difference that you can tell. And I, it looked like the, the light inside there was brighter when it's on high. So when you turn it to low, it does take a minute for it to transition to the low speed. It does, yeah, see how it's starting to slow down? So it's not instantaneous, like one to the, the next. All right, go back to high. All right, so I'm real happy with it. Um, with some heaters, I've noticed like some smells that come off of it from the heat. Nothing at all with this. It's just a nice, attractive looking unit. It works great. It seems very durable. And I like the fact that it's on wheels, so we can just push it around the room really easy. You don't have to lift it up unless you're like a really heavy shag carpet. So that's my review. If you own one of these, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Please put your comments down below. I'll also have a link to the Heatworks product uh, down below. Check that out. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the review. See you next time. All right, so what's it like having some extra heat in the morning? Thumbs up or thumbs down? All right, that's what I'm talking about.